Hey, happy Arvo down there. How you guys doing? Down under. From up top. Happy Arvo to you. Thank you for being here with me today. For this epic video. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched it yet, but it does have 7 million <clears throat> views. I don't know how this has slipped under the radar to where I haven't seen it. Fair Baron Films. Go check them out. They're just this small little up-and-coming channel with 1.7 million subscribers. I'm sure they'll be very excited <laughs> to get a shout out from Ryan Waz. <clears throat> a day in the life of an Australian. I don't know what we're in for here. Everything that happens in one day for an Australian. Every Australian. They're all the same. If you say so. We wake up in the morning and the first thing we do is let our eyes adjust to the upside downness of Australia. You see, because Australia right. is on the bottom of the earth, everything's upside down. Most Australians. Yes, I got the joke before you explained it. Friends <laughs> learn to get used to this pretty quickly, but when you wake up, it can take a couple of seconds to adjust. That makes sense. Especially if you have a cupboard like that. What on earth is going on where it's like symmetrical? Like, I really might not know if I woke up upside down. I might not know which way I was waking up. For seconds to adjust. Then it's time to walk to the kitchen and have breakfast. For breakfast, we have Vegemite. That's probably hard to walk upside down, too. That toast. Anything else is elite. Jesus Christ. <laughs> is this... Is he even joking here? That's way too much Vegemite. Look at this piece. That looks like a chocolate cake. <laughs> Anything else is illegal. Then you go to Wait. dinner and have breakfast. For breakfast, we have Vegemite toast. Anything else is illegal. Right. Then you got to deal with any <laughs> issues that come up on the farm. On the f phone or farm? Jackson, all the kangaroos got out. Well, let's go get them then. You know, you, they did. <coughs> Shoot, this cold is, or whatever I've got. I don't know what it is. It's impeding my abilities here. But anyway, I wonder if there are farmers that raise kangaroos. Because I know you guys eat them. It's your little secret. It got out. I found out. You guys eat kangaroos. And I want to eat one. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I know some people don't like, you know, I don't know. Whatever. I do. I do want to eat a kangaroo. Or a, a piece of a kangaroo at least. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Are those only like wild game? Or do people actually raise those on a farm? So we lost them all then? Yeah, we lost them all. By now it should probably be about time for lunch. The only thing you're allowed to eat for lunch is Vegemite sandwiches. Okay, he's joking. That literally made me like, uncomfortable seeing that much Vegemite. After lunch, you then need to deal with anything else that comes up. And he puts it together. <laughs> Jackson, all the koalas are missing. We don't even have koalas. Yeah, I got some yesterday. Well, let's go get- You don't anymore. Get them then. <laughs> We lost them all? Yep, they're all gone. Now, after a hard day of misplacing native wildlife, you've earned yourself a little break. We retreat to the living room and watch clips from Crocodile Dundee. Don't know that one. But, you know, somebody get a drink. You know, it took me a long time to learn that Crocodile Dundee and Steve Irwin are not the same person. I know that's embarrassing. I shouldn't even admit that. And I, I figured this out a while ago. You know. But I will admit that. Then, at four o'clock every day, it's time to recite Australian poetry. Okay, there was a movement in the station. No, there was movement at the station. Ah, okay, I'll get it, I'll get it. Then at five o'clock, it's art time. At this time, we spend one hour looking at this painting of men shearing. Ed Sheeran? Do you see the... Oh yeah. Then when it's six o'clock, it's... Oh, men shearing. Yeah. It's whip cracking time. You know, I, I'm sure you Aussies would laugh <clears throat> at me for being a stupid city boy, but I literally, I had a whip one time, you know, I had never held a, a real whip, like a bull whip, and I was inside, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and I was just going like this, like this, like this, like this. it wasn't, nothing was happening, and then I hit it just right, 
Boom! I nearly blew out my eardrums. I had no idea. It was that loud. <laughs> For dinner, we eat leftover Vegemite toast and sandwiches from throughout your day, and then it's bedtime. To help get to sleep, we put on a classic Australian lullaby. Good night from Australia. Good night. Wow, that was... <coughs> damn it! God damn this. Virus. It's not that virus. Not that one that was plaguing the earth for years. That I, I still don't know if you're allowed to say it on YouTube. <clears throat> Let's read some comments. I'm from Canada and laughing my ass off at this in my igloo. <laughs> while enjoying a cool glass of maple syrup. It's great to learn about different cultures. <clears throat> that's true. I agree. Hey, that's kind of what this whole channel is built on. So, 22,000 people agree. I'm glad. As an Australian, I can say this is 100% true. I often wake up on the roof and have to get down using helium balloons that are floating me up to the floor. <laughs> Do you call the roof the ceiling? You call it? Would you call that a roof? Because <laughs> it took me a second to be like, "What do you mean you lying on the roof? You meant lying on the ceiling? Do you you guys call that a ceiling, right?" The guys who dislike this are probably Australians who thought they were liking. <laughs> they thought they were liking it because it's upside down. Oh shoot! That means all this time. When I get more likes than dislikes, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually a mistake. Shoot. That was really funny. I enjoyed this. Fair Baron Films. Go to their channel. Check it out. Link down below. Should we read any more comments or anything? I mean, it's a seven minute long video, folks. I mean, shoot. This video was only two minutes and one second long. So the fact that my video, just talking about this video, is seven minutes long. That almost doesn't even... Here in Australia, after we wake up, we explain the tourists that they are not... Here in Aus Austria! Austria. See, I would be one of those tourists. Because I just did it. I'd be booking a flight to Australia, and I would not even read it correctly. I'd book it to Austria. Explain to the tourists that they're not in Australia. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, there was no This Week in Australia because YouTube decided that that video that I made, I've been I've uploaded it three different times, and YouTube keeps saying it is, like, um, inappropriate or something. I have no idea why. No idea why. But that's why there's no video for This Week in Australia. I have no idea why. I mean, sometimes if I just put the word Aussie in the title, it does that, where it says it's not appropriate. You guys need to look into this. Like, what kind of, what kind of BS is that? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.